I'm Dane Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shooting Plank. Today we're going to be doing something just a wee bit different. Uh, I've always said I wanted to have a chronograph. Well, I got one. I had them on sale at, uh, I'm not sure where it was. It's either Midway USA or Sportsman's Guy. Either way, I got it. And here it is, right here. It's a Caldwell. It's a chronograph. And there's not really too much to do into it. you got a little switch over here and you either switch it to uh, your feet per second or your meters per second whichever way you want it to read for you and you position it about 10 to 15 feet from the muzzle of the gun. Well, what we're going to do we're going to use this for some testing. Now I did a review on this a long time ago as everybody knows this is kind of one of my favorites. This is the cheapest but it's a, actually a favorite. This is an Umarex NXG and it's a multi-pump well, the one thing people have asked is, is there really a difference in the pumps as far as velocity goes? Well, that's what we're going to be checking. And how I'm going to do it is I'm going to fire a couple of rounds from, uh, I have about uh, three pumps. Then I'm going to pump it to five, and then seven. Then we're going to use the ten, and you should not go past ten. And we'll see what we get as far as velocity goes. Probably fire about... Uh, two rounds from each line otherwise you know you're doing an awful lot of pumping and uh, so th that it'll give us a general idea as to if it drops if it, you know if it actually say if this is supposed to get 800 feet per second but as everybody knows it depends on pellets it depends on this depends on that and there's usually your gun don't get that anyway uh, but the theory would be if you're getting 800 feet per second at 10 pumps at five pumps, you should get 400 feet per second, right? Anyway, that's probably the theory. So uh, let's set this thing up, and then we're going to shoot, and you're going to get to watch it as it goes. And I'm not worrying about hitting any bullseyes or anything, just as long as I don't hit something I shouldn't. But as one of my uh, cohorts said, if I do, it's nothing I don't own. So uh, let's start shooting. Okay, you can see the way it's set up. I left it blank. I want you to see what happens when you turn this on and how it sets itself. So hang on, I'm going to go over and like I said, there's a switch, feet per second or meters. You always want to make sure it's in feet per second, if that's what you want. Should be, this, there it says, feet per second. And it'll set there and it'll reset in a little bit. And then you'll be seeing, there we go. Okay, she's ready to shoot. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm using H&N Excite pellets. Uh, these are just the planking pellets. So, you know, we're not really looking at what pellet velocity, again, what we're looking at is what does it do with a multi-pump gun? And um, we're gonna start out with three then five, seven, and ten. So first, bring them back here, pump it three times, and I'm only going to fire it oh, maybe two rounds each one, like I'd said before. I, I don't, I don't want to set here forever pumping. So let's take the first shot. Yeah, that's 425 feet per second on uh, on three pumps. It's not really all that bad. Go again. Four hundred and twenty-three. Okay, it's right around that amount. So now let's go to five pumps. There go. Five hundred feet at five pumps. That's that's pretty nice. Go 
Yeah, right around that. It is 504. Okay, now we're going to go to 7. Five hundred and fifty-three. Not a whole lot of difference, but uh, a little bit. Five hundred and forty nine, right around that five fifty into there somewhere. So now what we'll do is we'll go clear up to ten. Now this is the one that's supposed to be eight hundred feet per second. I don't think it's gonna make it, but We'll see what it does do. In pumps, and that's the maximum. You don't pump this thing any further than that. Five hundred and eighty-two. Yeah, we'll go again. Okay, here goes. We'll see what happens. Five eighty four. So that's probably just right around there then, around five eighty. That's at ten pumps. So you can see it does make a difference on velocity. So uh, let's go back over there and uh, I think we've done enough shooting right now. Well you got to see how it works. And uh, the device itself, this uh, Caldwell, uh, it works pretty good. I mean, I'm going to keep it around because we'll probably be going to be using it in some future videos. I want to try to check out some others too, uh, such as the Umarex 1022, that Ruger 1022 everybody's talking about. We're going to see what the velocity actually does on that. Uh, it's not a really high velocity gun anyway, it's like 600 feet per second. Uh, there's just different ones that we're probably going to try out and like I said it just depends on how the mood hits me I guess. Uh, it also is not a review on the NXG. We've done that before. This is my pick me up testing quick shooting gun. I really like this little thing and <laughs> cheapest one of the bunch and that's the one I like. I, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. But um, it's a good shooter. <laughs> it really is. It's a good shooter. And as far as velocity, now that's what we were checking. What does a multi pump do? Does it have its high velocity and then go half and whatever? No, not really. You could see that uh, because at 300 or at three pumps, what we were getting like 400 and some feet per second, and uh, we got up to 500 and some as it got got further. And we were almost at 600 feet, almost at 600 feet per second. Now, if I'd have been using a different color, that too can change. Um, I've got a friend that is really high on polymer tips, and he said those things got the best velocity, best targets, whatever. Um, and maybe he's right. I have never used one. I really haven't heard that much from other people that have talked to me about them. But uh, he, he really is high on them. And this shows that, yes, the velocity does decrease with your pumps. That's why up in Canada, like where Doc McKay's at, um, he can pump it less and he can stay under that 500 feet per second that they have up there in that, that law. 
Um, in fact, darn near close to staying out of 10 pumps. Uh, a little bit over though, like I said. I, I imagine this thing with the right pellet and what have you would hit 600, and who knows, it might hit 700. 800, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, the right, I guess, according to what everything is, they say that the alloy pellets do better. Others say they don't. Haven't tried any. Don't know. I'm not going to even get into that. All I know is I'm just picking up something to hit the target, and if I can hit the target, I'm happy. And uh, that's the main thing to do. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.